I'm Tomas Raseno, I'm an artist and um, I'm very happy. <laughs> I'm a visual artist and I do mostly installation. The installation in um, SF MoMA is called Stillness in Motion Cloud Series. We have speculated quite a lot that this might be kind of a good idea of how future flying cities might come together. And then, this has been many times we collaborate with spiders, like kind of as a jam session or joint venture, something we don't know yet where it will, will end up. They are not necessarily built by human, but is in collaboration with a more than human world. Through this kind of, uh, kind of engagement, uh, uh, somehow the world starts to navigate and have its own life to a certain extent. When I think about, you know, this idea of thinking about flying cities or, or cloud cities and how we be able to also invent another infrastructure, another urbanism, another type of um, way of, of, um, of living on this planet. And this is why I'm kind of a huge admirer of how, how spiders build their own webs and we have been uh, trying to observe for quite a time um, of how these incredible worlds, uh, they come together and they invent themselves a method to colonize or migrate or sparse in different parts of the world, also ourselves, you know, maybe we invent such a easy elemental technology which is non-fossil fuel based and not burning or, or using resources which are very scarce and produce a lot of conflicts and social and, and political division. Kind of very, very elemental technology, but also it might imply also a radical way of how we might be able to live on the planet Earth. This means a lot of speculation of how, you know, future architecture might be the future of cohabitation of this and other planets, maybe, and other galaxies and universes and other cosmic webs uh, for human and non-humans. This means a quite demanding installation. It's something that is not that you take out of the crate and then you hang it as a normal painting. This is something that you take it out of the crane, it's just a piece of of rope which is in the floor and people usually come and say, oh my God, what's that? You know, because it doesn't have no shape, no form, it's nothing. I also love the idea that, you know, all this installation, you can carry it in a suitcase and then somehow you enlarge it. The installation is composed by, I guess it might be 15 or 20 kilometers of rope. And when you count to the knots, it would be more than 10,000 knots in the installation itself. And this means it's something which is quite, um, um, yeah, quite, quite large. But also that somehow also you lose the ability to count them all, no? It's kind of something too big, like the stars in the universe. You don't know how many, and it might keep growing, growing, expanding and growing, and you never know. Yeah, this installation, as of moment, is kind of a, yeah, a provocation, ideas of how uh, we might be able to live in cloud cities in the future. But at the same time, it's quite real on the sense of saying, remind us all the time, you know, uh, from where we come, uh, where we might be going, and how we might be able to do things differently if we work together and not only among, among humans.